the walk of shame some of you may be asking why why is he doing the walk of shame well let me tell you why slightly inappropriate Dominic what? told me to put it on oh yeah iPhone. Dominic told you right if Dominic told you to jump off a cliff would you jump off a cliff no what song are we listening to there uh, detachable penis. Boys trip. What are we doing? We're going to go camping and hunting. Shoot a deer. Pretty average campsite, it's not where I wanted to camp, but the river's so high and it's so windy that we're just burning gas. We're not going to get far enough upstream to where I wanted to go, so I think we're just going to... Oh, deer prints right there, eh? Mean. We're in the right area anyway. I guess we'll uh, light a fire, throw the billy on and cook us up a feed of necks, venison necks. Too big, too quick, and it's going out. Oh, you might have saved it, mate. Maybe I'll talk. right up our bum but we're just gonna walk downwind till we get to a slip and then we'll uh, walk up the slip and it'll be a crosswind hopefully we'll see something come out on the slip Just bump one. About five meters away, all around the corner, of course push. Took off. Oh, it was winding real hard out too. I just didn't see him. Just crashed around the bush over there.
the old shortcut, eh? You got wet nuts? No, no, just nuts. missed me nuts. Why, well, just yeah. missed your nuts? My nuts are dry. Truly, I thought for sure you guys were going to get wet dangers across there. <laughs> yeah, there's eel over there. Oh well, she's just around the corner from here, boys. <laughs> oh mate, look at that. Doesn't that look yuck? <laughs> hey, you just spilled gumbo juice on it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, taste it. Taste the juice. The sauce is the sauce good? Well, oh, that's yum. Is it good, eh? The sauce is super good. They'll dry overnight. Uh, do you mind not dumping your gumboot juice in our kitchen, please, sir? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go get some firewood, eh? What are we doing with our gorse? Look at it. Oh, it's going out. Bloody gorse. One good thing about gorsets, makes you a good fire starter. Wait, is it full of it? Have a look. Oh, sorry. Just need some balsamic vinegar and some Can't do best it. foods mayonnaise in there. Oh, mate, slap it in. Where's a spoon? Yeah. Big dollop. There we go. I need a bit more mayonnaise now, I think. Right now, my chair would be beauty. Oh, Find anything good, Oi? Eat that oh, steak. Ow! Oh. I just used a stick. Good dog. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no. Bloody Ziggy tore a big hole in my tent. Look at that. That's actually just um, sky out there. She was running by and got tangled up in the guy rope and freaked out and bit the guy rope and just tore it out, tore the big hole in the side of the tent. You mongrel. Oh well. It's lasted me, I don't know. It's lasted me a few years, this tent. It was only 120 bucks or something. China job. Uh, come my guts now. I hope it doesn't start raining. We're gonna have to huddle up in the far end of it. Oh, look at the state of that. Well, they've done it right proper mischief, didn't she? Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, good night. Good night, mate. Good day, mate. Oh, did you eat our chop? You little mongrel. Good day, Ziggy. All right, good day. Cheating. How's it going, lads? Good night. Yep. It smells like farts in here. Whew. <laughs> I got a, such a bad headache. Ugh. Oh. oh, I had big plans to do bushcraft with the boys, but this is just such a crap location and they've actually got school today, so I've got to get them back to school. But next time we come out, we'll go a little bit earlier so we can do some bushcraft. Pissing down, river's flooding, might be a run, don't know. There's a couple in there, it's dead low tide at the moment.
only a week left in the season. One more week and then white bait season may be done for good. Oh, there's a mean bit of quartz there. I'm gonna confiscate that from Her Majesty. Nothing wriggling in the net. I thought I'd just scoop top, right at the top of the eddy where the tide's pushing. If it's going to be a good run, usually that top eddy is loaded on low tide, but nothing there now. Oh, there's a few wrigglies in there. There's a couple. Things have taken an interesting turn. I've got an incoming tide in a flooded river. And uh, I'll learn one day, but today's not that day. Well, I guess I still am learning. <laughs> I don't think there's any way out of this. I was stuck up there and I thought if I drive down to the river, onto the hard, I could gun it down the river and get up the bank. And I've tried several times, but it just got softer just down here and then the last attempt gunned it and it just went up, slid into the soft stuff, stuck. I've just been frantically grabbing all my shit out <coughs> of the truck. There's still crap under the seats I've got to get. Look, she's all awash. Oh, I've got so much shit in there too. So much shit. No coming back from this, the inside's all bloody drowned. Yeah, there's no cell phone coverage. I've seen a couple of texts out, maybe kind of jumps to one bar, no bar. I can't find, I can't call anyone on them about, I don't know, 10k from town. Balls. That could be a very expensive mistake, that one. I got stuck way up there and I've tried to back up and I thought oh if I drive down there and gun it and tell you what I'm glad it didn't go down with all that shit in there there's a lot of expensive shit in there cameras drones handmade axes that stuff you just can't replace so I'm glad I've got it out this just in no white bait uh, just got a call from Jack or a text from Jack and he's coming down I walk up top of the hill there, I can get reception, so he's gonna bring his truck down, we're gonna try to snatch it out, but geez, I don't know if he'll come out. I don't even know where Jack's gonna snatch it from. I've got one strop, he's bringing another one, so I'll get a strop on it anyway. I and mean, look, it's half buried in the sand already. Oh well, he might get out. Jack might not even get down the beach too, because it cuts into the beach at high tide down there, so hopefully he doesn't get his truck stuck as well. I'll have to pay for two bloody trucks, not just one. Could be a $100,000 day today. Oh, I better get the strop in before this bloody tide comes in anymore. Hi. It's the Ali and Gabriel and Jack shows come down to help me, but. Uh, the electrics aren't showing and the truck had started but the electrics aren't showing there's a strop there oh. yeah, hold that I'll tell you I'll in there. me and Ali may reckon it's not going to work and Jack and Gabe reckon it is so we're 50 50 we'll give it a snatch and see what happens one cubic meter of water weighs one ton so there's probably about three ton of water holding it in there it's a ride off anyway Figure we bring the jet boat down to get the rest of the shit, seeing as the truck can't get along the beach now because the high tide's blocked the rest of the beach off. Can't even get a tractor down here. Wow. 
Are you getting that on the big job? Been an expensive day. I'll get back to you on that one if insurance are going to cover it or not. You see me driving a new truck? <laughs> they have. If I go back to an old dunger, then they haven't. Spark plugs are fouled up, we're running on one, two cylinders, so just going to change the plugs out and uh, back on the river again. Home sweet home. I'm also have had a truck to park in the driveway. Who cares? We've got the Hyundai. Still got the loser cruiser. Still got the boats. Still got my sons. Great day. Great day on the job. Some of the crap I managed to rescue out of the truck. Bloody snatch block didn't come in handy this time, did it? What's going on, oi? Smell some plastic. Charlie. He's well on his way to becoming a professional baker, except that he uh, baked his first cookies on a plastic tray. Yep, that's our uh, plastic smoke. Fortunately, it all mounted onto the bottom of the oven. And now the whole house is, well, it was full of plastic smoke. We've opened the doors up and everything. Jack. Went down to check on my truck, and it's gone. It's not even there. Well, who knows if that's ever going to turn up again. Fingers crossed insurance are going to pay out on it. They might not. They were umming and ah about it and mentioning clause 12 and exclusions and shit like that. So we'll see. We shall see. Guess we'll find out next week. Hmm. Fish on. What you got, Sonny? I don't know. Brown trout, we'll call it. Brown trout or a salmon? We've got to take it out to see what it is. Why do you make bring the rod around this way? I'll see if I can one step in the air. Get your ball. Oh, he got off. Fish off.
Just hold it like that. And just walk back a bit. So I can get the Now I try trolling now, trolling for salmon. Let's see how we go. Not very big salmon in here, just little suckers, but there's no size limit, so even the little ones take home and eat. They're pretty tasty too than the small ones. Yeah. The fish, tiny, whatever it is. Fish on, salmon. Mean. Is it a little salmon? Yeah. Tiny. I've got a wrap on it. <laughs> killed it. Well, I think you killed it by dropping it. Twice. <laughs> It was definitely a fish. Oh, you got weed. No, it was a fish. Go back towards it. <laughs> it's a, I'm around the weed. You right? You're going to have to drive me off. Jack thinks he's fishing for yellowfin tuna again. But I had a fish on. Honestly, I did. It's gone. It's in the weed. How many marlin have you had at the boat, Josh? What's that? How many marlin have you had at the boat over your, the, the years? Oh, I don't know. Josh has caught, sure. caught a few marlin and seen quite a few marlin caught. Heaps, heaps as. And yellowfin and shit like that, eh? Bluefin. Yeah. He's one of them commercial skippers, actually. See, look, look, I've got a See? I told you, boy. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. Oh, he has to. We all thought he had a weed fish. What weed fish? be quite ironic that Jack had a weed fish. Jack got a Jack. Yeah! Good Jack. Oh, fingers right in the gills. <laughs> yeah. There'll be no releasing that sucker. Thong him on the head, chuck him in the smoker. You got plastic in there. <laughs> Nice, another salmon. Oh. Shit, hooked them even worse. Right in the eye. Nice one, bro. Good work. A little bit more. You're gone. Now put your hand right in the middle and push it hard. Ready? Yep, push it hard. Give it. Great day on the water. More adventures to come tonight. We're going to go jet boating, shoot a deer. She didn't have a lamb this year, so we figure he'd dong her on the head, chuck her in the chiller with the deer, seeing as we've got the chiller going. We might even shoot a couple more deer this evening too to bang into the chiller. 
while it's going. Mutton chops. G'day mate. Where's Mrs. Turkey? Is she in there still? She is. Have you got babies, mate? Have you got babies? Oh, she got a clutch of eggs. Awesome. That's great news. She's got a clutch of eggs there. Might have to bring some traps down. Last year, none of the eggs hatched, but hopefully this year they will. And he's guarding her, so that's great. Look at that delicious piece of meat. It's actually really good. If you haven't eaten tongue before, I recommend it. I think I'm just going to put this in the freezer and I'm going to get a bunch of tongues and make jelly tongue. So you're not going to see me eat the tongue today, but I will cook the liver up for lunch. See if we can get Josh here to enjoy liver. It's, it's an acquired taste. I tell you, I'm still a bit 50 50 on it. You hate the shit, don't you? Yeah. Josh isn't into it. Jack isn't into it. A lot of people aren't, but it's extremely healthy for you. It's full of Good stuff, I don't know what that good stuff is, but it's, it's high in iron for a start. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bloody. The brain's also good for you, but I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the brain today. We might try that further down the track, but we're definitely gonna have a liver fry up. It doesn't look very appetizing. It's meant to be brandy. Actually, you can just use brandy and salt and pepper and just a touch of honey. But I'm just going to chuck this shit in because it's easier. Sir, your liver. Thank you. Definitely had worse. <laughs> ah, it's pretty good. It's just pate, basically. It's an easy way to make pate. And it makes liver a damn sight more edible if you do it like that. So give it a crack. It's actually pretty good. It's good, eh? Yeah. Look at that little beauty. Oh, it's good. There you go, sir. You gonna eat it? 
Just give a little bit to Ant here. I don't really like it. And he lives in there, and this is a really gross out. I always have to put it back in because he likes to eat roots. And his and he likes fish. Who? Ante. Where does Ante live? He lives in there. He's a little tiny guy. You can't see it, but I can see him. Turns out young Sonny doesn't want to eat his salmon. Not, what about if I put tomato sauce on it? Tell me with sauce. What? It's yummy with sauce. But can you even look how much sauce there is? I know. There you go. So if your kids don't like wait, fish, wait, wait. just put a whole bottle of Waddy's tomato I sauce on it, it. And it will be tasty as. Charlie! Charlie! I too like I actually like I actually like fish now. Oh is that Sam? Hey boys! Yeah. Uh, I like fish. Uh, Thanks for buying me this chair, folks. Bloody awesome. I got Josh one too. <laughs> Josh one's got a bit of a creak on. Sand flies are swarming. Always oh, over it already. Got about another. 40 minutes till hunting time so we've basically nailed it we're gonna have a little snack and then walk up the river 100 meters and shoot a deer hopefully some bottled tar meat dirty old bull tar and how it'll go it's about a year and a half old this stuff mmm it's like rosemary and bull tar mix unbelievable that's a year and a half old it's been in a cupboard just in the cupboard for a year and a half. And look at it, fresh as the day it was made. Actually got a little bit too weak. He's getting stuck into that liver. I done know I'd turn him. It's actually really good, isn't it? It's a bit cold, I reckon. Just seen a deer. Just over there. Oh, we've seen another one. I'm gonna shoot that one as well. Ooh. Mean, good shot. <laughs> See that? They're on the other side of the river, so we're gonna go back and get the jet boat, and then we're gonna jet boat up and uh, sort them out. Here's the other one. Manky. I'm going to shot him.
Check out this for finishing shot. Right there, and Can then have... exit wound out there. Jesus. No, no doubt about it, old mate's a crack shot. That would have been that big explosion, was the brains blowing out the back of its head. A couple of hundred meters, headshot, no big deal. After I gut shot it and shot its front legs off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, uh, certainly pretty flammable, isn't it? got to get up pretty early in the summertime to shoot a deer. It's 10 past 5 and it's bloody getting light already. Thought there'd be a couple on that clearing, it wasn't. By the time we get up around the corner, the next clearing will be too light, so we're just going to go back to camp and pack up camp, go pick those other ones up and bugger off. Get up! Good dog! Fail. Oh, that was a great five hours of sleep. I could have slept in today. I could have done with a sleep in. Five o'clock, got up at five o'clock and the birds are already chirping. Ziggy, Ziggy doesn't really come on the missions. You right, Oi? God, the sand flies are relentless. We're just sitting here, just want to relax for five minutes before we have to go, but we're just going to go because they're just swarming. This is shit. How nice would this be if there were no sand flies? Does that chair get your seal of approval, mate? It's pretty good, actually, once you got used to the old bit of flex in it. She's all right. Comfy, eh? Yeah. So good. So it's basically the same as the big Agnes here. I'd say it was even a bit sturdier. The material definitely looks a bit sturdier. Yeah. But they're both made in China, this one and the other one, except this was only, I don't know, hundred bucks and the other one was almost three hundred.
Ready, Owen? Day number two. Get up. Was it the first shot? Was it a gut shot, eh? I think so, yeah. Yep, that'll be me. Shoot him in the guts. Slinky, huh? Shot this one in the guts, and then I popped the guts on the other one when I was gutting it. <laughs> <laughs> Still learning. Uh, I figure I've got to catch about $40,000 worth of white bait today to cover costs just for today. I've only got two buckets. 